Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ian with Head Motor Company, bringing another video to you today. I wanted to talk about this bike right here. This is an Indian Scout Bobber. Today, Indian launched the Indian Scout Rogue, which is built off of the Bobber platform. Has a couple other bells and whistles to it that I wanted to cover and talk about where the value's at and moving up to that model compared to buying a Scout Bobber and doing all the other mods yourself that come on the Rogue. The seat was the biggest issue that a lot of current Scout owners had and Indian addressed that with the launch of the Rogue. The Scout Rogue now comes with a different seat that I think is gonna be a huge improvement over the factory seat that comes on the standard bobber. Another really big difference in the new Rogue versus the Scout Bobber now, these engine cam covers, whatever you wanna call these, and the Indian name, along with these two lines on either side of the Scout name, are all gonna be blacked out. So it's gonna have a true blacked out finish to it. The only thing less silver on the bike is gonna be the lines running down through here on the head and the Scout name. Uh, not sure why they didn't include those being black, but they chose not to. I still think it looks a lot better than the silver finishes that come on these. Previously, you could only get the black engine cam covers on the Scout 60. So you had to take a hit on power and get a five-speed gearbox instead of a six-speed gearbox to get those blacked out looks. The next thing you're gonna notice that they changed on the Rogue, or added, I should say, is that they put a front fairing or cowl on the front of it now that gives you a lot better wind protection than nothing. I think it's gonna be a huge selling point for people that have to do a little bit of highway commuting at higher speed. It's gonna keep a lot of the wind off them and they're gonna be able to make their commute in a little bit more comfort with less wind hitting them. The next upgrade you're gonna find is gonna be the bars. They actually have included mini apes from the factory now. I believe they're the 10 inch mini apes that you can purchase as an additional accessory for your Scout to give it a little bit more comfortable fit for those of us that are taller and want a little bit higher feel on the bars. So huge upgrade there, and it really fits the aesthetic of the bike. The last thing we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to be the front tire. They've upgraded the front wheel to a 19 inch front wheel. It gives the bike a more full look and improves the overall aesthetic of the bike. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why wouldn't I just get a Scout Bobber and do all of that stuff myself and not pay the extra 1500 in markup that comes with the Scout Rogue? But you don't have to worry about that because I've done it for you. The bars on Indian's website for the Mini Apes cost $175. You've also got to purchase the $115 cable kit whenever you purchase Mini Apes because the factory cables that come on these bars won't reach once you raise these bars up. The added cowl that the Rogue comes with is $500 through Indian's website. The seat that now comes on the Scout Rogue costs $230 through Indian. The toughest part for me to nail down was the blacked out cam covers and the 19 inch front wheel because I couldn't find those parts online or what they cost through Indian. So I'm taking numbers that I found on eBay. I found a set of black cam covers for about 150 bucks, but to change those out, you've got to pull the whole tank off and get a whole bunch of labor tied up into it. And I'll hit on that labor number here in just a second. The front wheel, I couldn't find numbers on it either, but going off of what the heavyweight wheels cost, I estimate it being around $500. And then you've also got to purchase the correct tire to fit that wheel. And that tire online cost $130. In total, and this is just based off the top of my head, I figure it'll take about six hours to do all of the labor from the engine cam covers, to the tire, to the cowl, to the bars, the cables, and then a seat really doesn't take that long. So I just left that one blank. Doing all of those options on a standard Scout Bobber to get it to look like the Scout Rogue is gonna cost you anywhere between $1,900 and $2,500, depending on the labor rate, how much your shop charges, and all of the other variables that go into it. Basically, what I'm telling you is, if you want your Scout to look like the Rogue, just get the Rogue. Don't balk at the additional markup because the value's there. You just kind of have to break it down and see for yourself, or you could just rely on what I've told you. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions regarding these machines, you can reach us at 573-554-5555 or you could come in and visit us at 5708 Freedom Drive, Columbia, Missouri, here at Head Motor Company, home of the on-road, off-road.